All right, yeah, so hello everybody and welcome to my short presentation about adaptive storage views in virtual memory. Well, to understand what adaptive storage view is, let's make a simple example. Let's say we have some kind of traditional storage engine like a column store in main memory, for instance. Then we have a column like this. And of course, there's some kind of data in this column, let's say integers. And this data is now materialized in physical main memory. And as you probably know, physical main memory is segmented into physical memory pages uh, denoted by these dashed lines here. Now, before we can access um, this column, we first have to map a corresponding virtual memory area onto the physical memory area, as you see here. And then we can actually access it, for instance, perform scans, perform filtering, whatever we want to do. Now, this virtual memory mapping that we created here is basically a view on our entire data set, right? And our problem lies a little bit uh, in that because we might not be interested in the entire data set or only a portion of it. Of course, um, you could see, um, uh, you know, to, to, to access this, um, we basically have to scan the entire column then, yeah, which is our problem. And to counter this, the only thing we can do in this situation is basically build some kind of auxiliary index structure, right, on top of that. And the question you ask at work is, um, instead of doing that, why not use the index that is already in place in this situation? You might ask now, what kind of index is here already in place? Well, the index of the operating system, namely the page table, which maps the individual virtual pages to the corresponding physical pages that is already there. So the idea is basically to create additionally to this full view covering the entire data set, so-called partial views that cover only a portion of the data set, having some kind of property like covering this particular value range. We can do that using the system call a map. And we can even create a consecutive virtual memory area that maps to the scattered physical pages that, that qualify in this context. And then, of course, we can route our scans to these uh, partial views and, and uh, speed them up. We know how to create these partial views. The question is when to create them. And there we basically follow the line of adaptive indexing work to create partial views as a byproduct of query processing. So when the query comes in, we basically route it to the best currently exist view that is initially only the full view and use that to answer the query. And as a side product of that, um, we create asynchronously a corresponding partial view covering this value range. Then test whether it actually improves our overall indexing situation and only if that's the case, we actually keep it. And then if the next query comes in that falls into a fitting value range, we route it to that view and use then that view to answer the query. But from an experimental perspective, we basically want to answer two questions. First of all, does it actually help to scan these virtual views in comparison to traditional counterparts, like you could create zone maps or you could create a, a bit vector marking on the qualifying physical pages. And this actually as you can see here, brings quite a lot, um, depending on the selectivity, of course. So it's a, um, a, a, a valid, valid thing to do to create these virtual views. And then uh, the second question is, um, does it actually help to create them adaptively? And you can see here on the x-axis, we have such a query sequence of 250 queries. And you can see that the queries that actually fall into ranges that are covered by partial views can actually be um, improved over the corresponding full scan uh, baseline. As you can see here, of course, it requires the data distribution to fit. So you need some kind of clustering in your data. Um, in this example, we follow loosely a sign distribution as you can see it here, um, because we, we basically build a coarse granular index. So in summary, we perform um, adaptive view maintenance. We create these adaptive virtual views and perform automatic query routing currently. And then when you're at your view, you can basically do a flat scan on the view, um, which is quite optimal. If you're interested in all the technical details, there is a long version of this already available on archive that also covers things like how to handle updates on these views. And of course, how well does it perform under under different data distributions and queries, um, query patterns. And if you want to try it out, the code is also available already. So thanks for your attention, and I'm looking forward to your questions. <laughs>